Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. So before we get started, I would like to introduce you to my new channel. I have a new channel called Growing Up Cooking. Other than gaming, cooking is also another passion of mine. And this is like a passion project for 2024. I'm probably going to start uploading cooking videos, cooking recipes on my new channel. So if you like gaming and you like eating, please go over there and support me. All right. So without further ado, let's just get started. All right. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use cheat tables. All right. So cheat tables for cheat engine. All right. So if you install cheat engine on your Steam Deck and, you know, you have to like scan the game's memory address to, you know, create your own cheats. That's pretty like hectic. It's like, it's pretty hard. All right. So you can actually download cheat tables, which is like somebody's already done the hard work. They've already created that and you can just download it, use it on cheat engine and you can just toggle on and off the cheats. All right. So let me show you how it's done. So first go to cheatengine.org, download cheat engine. All right. Click this green button. So I'm going to download it. All right. And you'd probably need these two apps. So go into your Discover store and type Proton. All right, download Proton Up QT. All right, the one with the green arrow up. And also download and install this Proton Tricks, all right? The wine glass. All right, so first we're going to use Proton Up QT because we need to install Steam Tinker Launch. So install for, make sure it's under Steam. And then add version. All right, and then under compatibility tool, select Steam Tinker Launch. And the current version is 12.12, .12, all right? And click install, all right? I already have it, so I'm not gonna install it. Okay, so once that's done, you probably need to um, restart your Steam, okay? Okay, so once that's done, go to here in your Steam, add a game, add a non-Steam game, browse, and then go to your um, cheat engine installer file. So cheat engine75.exe and selected programs. And then at the left hand side, you can see it here cheat engine75.exe. Go into its properties. Okay, I'm going to change the compatibility to Proton Experimental. And then I'm just going to run it, play it. All right, it's going to install cheat engine. All right. So if you watch my previous video, I did this with Lutris. You don't really need to now, all right? This is a different method. So, okay, I'm going to use English. I think this is a better method because um, you don't need to use Lutris. I find it easier. So I'm just going to install Cheat Engine here, all right? I'm going to skip all. I'm not going to install the other, other like, I think it's like bloatware or something like that. Yeah, we just need Cheat Engine. So just install it. Okay, and then we're going to locate it. All right. We need to locate where Cheat Engine is installed. I'll show you how to locate it. Don't worry. Don't panic. Just wait for it to finish installing. Okay, so I'm not going to launch it. So uncheck this. Finish. Okay, and then I'm going to locate this. Okay, so open up your Dolphin. All right, go to home. Okay, make sure you click the three lines here and then show hidden files. This is checked. Go into the hidden folder, dot steam, then steam, um, steam apps, compact data, and then I'm going to sort by modified. All right, so this folder was just created just now. So I'm pretty sure this is where cheat, hap uh, cheat not cheat happens, cheat engine. All right, prefix folder, and it's here. Drive C program files and you can see the cheat engine folder here i'm going to make a copy of it so copy it i'm going to put it into my downloads uh folder so you can put it wherever you want just somewhere you you can you know get it back so i put it in my downloads folder so i've got the cheat engine folder here okay now okay i'm going to use cheat engine on my steam game on monster hunter world okay let's say i want to cheat here okay I need to know where the prefix folder for this game is. Okay, so I'm going to open Proton Tricks. And then here, see Monster Hunter World. All right, so it's in this folder, 582010. All right, so go locate it. I'm going to locate it. So just go back to your compact data folder. All right, and then here's the folder, 582010. All right, so if you don't know how to find this folder, it's the same. Home, then .steam. Steam, 
Steam apps, compact data, and then locate the name. Uh, sorry, the number for the game that you are trying to locate. So Monster Hunter World is 582010. All right, so it's, yeah. Okay, so inside the prefix folder, all right, I'm going to go to its drive C and program files, and I'm going to copy my cheat engine folder over. So copy, and I'm just going to paste the copy here. All right, done. And now I'm going to download the cheat table. So you can search for cheat tables, go to the browser and type cheat engine cheat table download, stuff like that. And I normally go to this website, Fearless Cheat Engine. Okay, go to this website. All right, and then I normally click the magnifying glass here. And it brings you to a new page. And then here I'm just going to type the name of my game. Monster Hunter, so it's Monster Hunter World Iceborne. All right, and then the first one comes up here, Monster Hunter World Fearless Cheat Engine. Okay, and this like this tells you like somebody's already made the cheat table, and it has all this like infinite stamina stuff like. That. So I want infinite stamina. All right, so I'm gonna download this. So go over here, and it's a CT file, right? So it's something dot CT. This is the file. I already have this downloaded, so I'm not gonna download it again. So one fr monster hunter world underscore ib dot ct. All right, I've got this downloaded. Okay, so download your cheat table. Then go back to Steam, and then go to your game properties, and then compatibility. I'm going to force it with Steam Tinker Launch. Okay, this is I just downloaded this. So if you can't find it in this list, and you've already downloaded it on Proton Up QT, maybe you need to restart your Steam for it to kick in. So make sure you force it to Steam Tinker Launch. Okay, now I'm going to play the game. Okay, just wait for it. We're just going to do some basic settings. Okay, Steam Tinker launched in run. Yeah, I'm just going to alternate F4 to quit out of the game. I don't know why Steam Tinker launch didn't run. Okay, so properties, let's double check it. Force com oh, I changed it to Proton Experimental accidentally. So change it to Steam Tinker launch, okay. Play. Yeah, that was a little mistake. All right, now Steam Tinker launch is loading up. You've got a two second window to click on the main menu so you can go inside and change the settings. Okay, so click this main menu. And then go here, game menu. Okay. So make sure use custom command. This is checked. And fork custom command also checked. All right. And then here in custom command, we're going to choose the, your, your cheat engine. So go to home and then, um, dot steam, steam, steam apps, compact data. All right, so 582010, that's the game for me. It will be different for you if you use a different game. Okay, then inside prefix folder, drive C, program files, and here's my cheat engine folder that I copied over, and I'm going to select the EXE. So cheat engine x8664.exe. All right, this is the EXE I want. All right, and then save and play. Okay, so I'll probably go into gaming mode because in the, my last video for cheat engine, I played it on um, desktop mode already. It's just let me load it up, see if it's working first. If it is, then we just go to gaming mode. It's a lot harder to use in gaming mode because you don't have keyboard and mouse. All right, so it's working. All right, so it's working. My game is loaded up and I have cheat engine loaded as well. So I'm just going to alternate F4 with it. All right, I know it's all working. So now I'm going to go into gaming mode. Okay, so let's go to gaming mode and try to get it to work. Okay, let me bring over my... Okay, it's reloading. All right, now I'm going to use my Steam Deck. Okay, so yeah, cheat tables is like easier because you don't have to, you know, search for the cheats yourself, like search the memory address, you know, scan it and all that. You can just download what other people have already done. All right, so I'm in gaming mode. So let me launch Monster Hunter World. 
And I'm not going to click the main menu this time because I've already done the settings. So it's going to launch cheat engine. So just let it load. So here's Steam Thinker launch. I'm not going to go into main menu because I don't want to mess with the settings anymore. Okay, and okay, so there it is. All right, I forgot to mention one thing. Like in gaming mode, you'd have to go into settings and go to system and make sure this enable developer mode is checked. All right, because we need to switch between windows. All right, so if I press the Steam button, you can see I've got two windows open. Monster Hunter World, the game, and I've also got Cheat Engine. All right, and if you want to switch between it, you need um, to enable developer mode. All right. So let me just play the game first. Okay, let me go into this game. Okay. Create an online session. Okay. Okay, let me show you this in action. I think I can show you infinite stamina really easily. So let me just post the quest. Okay, the greatest drag grass. Okay, an easy quest. Easy quest. Yeah, it's loading up the quest. Okay, depart now. All right. So if you're not familiar with this game, all right, my stamina bar is the top bar, the yellow one. All right, and the green bar is my health. All right, see the yellow bar? That's my, that's my stamina bar. And you see, if I roll, you see how it's it's I lose stamina. All right. So now I want to turn on infinite stamina. All right. So I'm going to go to cheat engine. Okay. And then I'm going to press the Steam button and use my right trackpad. All right. So now let me press this to select the game first. So it boots up a new window. So process list. So I need to go here. Then I'm going to select Monster Hunter World. Okay. Go back to Cheat Engine. Okay. Open Cheat Table. Here. Okay. And I have to go to the new window. Open Existing File. So you know it's like it's a little bit complicated with gaming mode but yeah all right so it's in my downloads folder so it's here all right the cheat table so i'm going to open this one okay go back to my cheat engine and you can see i've loaded all these scripts so somebody's already done all these so i can just click infinite stamina all right and let's see if it works all right i think i need to find the monster first because if i don't have the monster I my stamina is infinite already because yeah I need to be I need to find the monster all right let me just ride ride my pet it'll take me to the dragra the greatest dragra oh, actually my, my, my stamina is here okay see how I've got oh no gone yeah I think I really need to be with the big monster Else my stamina is just not showing up. Okay. So just wait for my pet to find the greatest dragra. Okay. So if it works, if the cheats work, uh, if I roll, my stamina should not deplete. Right? So that's what that is. Uh, here it is. Here's the, here's the monster. All right, see how my stamina pops back out and my health bar? All right. Okay, I'm getting crushed here. I'm getting crushed. Okay, see? Okay, I can't roll. All right, you see I'm diving and I'm rolling. And my stamina is always full. See that? See, I'm rolling. And my stamina is not depleting. That means the cheat is working, all right? So yeah, that's an easy way to use Cheat Engine if you don't want to do all the scanning and all that by yourself. Like you can use the community um, layout stuff, like the cheats. More like a trainer. Yeah. So that's how it works. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll just leave it here. So see you guys later.